Man, so right on schedule, man. Adam Silver said right after the finals, we would get right into it and we would kill the anticipation and we would actually come out and give the um, the punishment for um, for John Morant's actions, right? So everyone knows I'm not even going to get into it again, but yeah, that uh, he's had some issues showing flashing guns on social media and everything, and that happened twice in like a window of a month, maybe two, but yeah, a month, I believe. And Adam Silver said that he was shocked, fed up, and everything, that this is very bad for the NBA. We all came down on John Morant in some kind of ways. I don't believe in letting go of John Morant, but I, do, I did believe that he, he needed to receive a, uh, a suspension just because you can't double down on the same mistake within a year. And that it would kind of look weak on Adam Silver's part to not go hard on John Morant. So we all believe that John Morant was in for some real trouble. Like I'm talking about half the season minimum. Some people would even think that he might miss the whole season. And it turns out that he's only going to be out of there for 25 games. The last time he missed eight games. Now he's 25. So that's still 25 games without pay. But I got to say, um, shout out to John Morant, I guess. And I'm happy for John Morant, I guess, because, man, that's that's like... That's super, like, you get a bigger offseason. Uh, if you had issues or whatever, if you needed to get treated, uh, I mean, get away from from whatever stuff you had going on, you have 25 games to do that. But, yeah, man, you're going to be right into it. And um, rather soon, you will have a chance to actually switch your narrative, come out, play better, and make people forget about what happened. And, yeah, man. Shout out to the Memphis Grizzlies also because uh, their season, although they've always done good with John Morant, without John Morant on the court, they're not going to miss the playoffs. They're just not in danger. And yeah, they're going to have more than enough time to actually build some chemistry and maybe compete for a championship next season. But I got to say, on Adam Silver's part, it's kind of weird, especially the fact that he kind of uh, built up some momentum saying that they've double checked, more details came out. Uh, some horrible stuff happened. He was very fed up uh, that he wants the players to behave a certain way. All that talking for 25 games? Really? I'm not saying that um, he should have given him more per se, but I think a lot of NBA players are looking at you like, yeah, man, uh, we pretty much can't get away with anything if we're worth it. John Morant is definitely a star. He's arguably the, the next face of the league. At least he was on that pace. So, yeah, he's very valuable. They weren't going to get rid of him. He's just too valuable for a whole franchise and uh, for, for a whole market, pretty much. But, man, 25 games, to me, it feels like nothing. It's like some players will get injured and they'll miss 25 games and come right back. You feel me? Like, 25 games is, what, two months? Two months and a half? That's nothing to me. It's like it's like a bigger vacation for John Moran. Now, I hope he stays out of trouble until then. I hope when he gets back, he looks good, in shape. He might be rusty, but that's cool. But as long as he does not get in any trouble, man, we, we will just forget about that sooner than later. And yeah, man, uh, that's all I got for this. Uh, I guess get in the comment section and give me your thoughts. Are you happy for John Morant? Are you happy with the suspension? How many games you thought he would actually get compared to what he actually had? And yeah, man, it's been your boy. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.